Hello, my beautiful Scorpio friends. Welcome to your December 1st through 15th, 2021 reading. Many blessings to you all. This is a collective reading for all Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. That means if you'd like a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. So with that, let's go right into the energy, my Scorpio friends. Very nice. We have the Four of Pentacles, which is financial stability, being grounded, and being in a place of security. It also means money in the bank, so we'll take that. Then we have the Star card, and this is the Aquarius Major Arcana. More importantly, it's the energy of ascension. It's the spiritual awakening and your soul's desire being told yes by the universe. This is a big mover and shaker in the spiritual realm and in opening up all the energy in front of you. <clears throat> so here we go. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Divine spirit, nine of pentacles. That's very nice. Spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here. To allow all Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek. To assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages. And we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always. And we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So we had a nice jumper here for the Queen of Pentacles. Let's go back about the second cut card real quick. Uh, we've got the Nine of Pentacles, the Garden of Eden energy. This is being in a place where you're being provided for through your faith and belief that it will be provided. Remember, this is the, the faith that you have, that the universe has your back and is continuously conspiring in your favor, is what brings the energy to pass. So this Queen of Pentacles also backs that up because it's saying the security is here. You're stable. You have money in hand. Everything's very opulent. You have the peacock, which is a beautiful energy. We have the Three of Cups. These are the Seraphim. The Seraphim are mighty, mighty, mighty little, little angels that are about the size of a little pixie or a fairy, but they are not any less powerful than any, any formidable angel you want to speak of. They are the guardians of the aforementioned um, Garden of Eden. They also guard the gates to heaven and the Ark of the Covenant. So they're pouring a double portion into your cup to make it overflow. We will take that and thank you, Seraphim. Like a lightning strike out of the blue, something happens very quickly. It is not negative. It's the light coming in. So it's activating something, whether it's a phone call from somebody that says, hey, um, do you need a job? I heard you were looking or, hey, there's a promotion coming down the pipeline or some big, huge breakthrough is happening that you've been waiting to hear about. It's coming in here with this Knight of Swords. It is literally like a lightning strike. Now. This is where we have to pick ourselves up and dust ourselves off and look at the future here that's already been given, but you can't see it. So this lightning strike might get your attention, make you stand up and look at what this is. Until you let go of the past here, you can never move forward. And that's what this is, is release whatever this is and be able to stand up and get, get, get on the get-go. Pick up what you can and move forward. This is always accompanying this lightning strike almost every single time, uh, nine out of ten times. Here's the tower. You see that lightning strike hitting the top of that tower? This is tearing down something that's been holding you captive or blocking your way. It may be a reconstruction or, a re, you know, like uh, renovating something, but it's usually a bigger energy than that, something that's really got to be like leveled and rebuilt or brought to the place of... of uh, just tearing it down because it just no longer functions. We have the King of Cups. And the King of Cups is the energy of your Scorpio. This is also the energy of divine love and being in a place of authentic energy. Someone who's very caring or mature love. Somebody who's been in a relationship for quite some time. It, it enables trust as well. And we've got the Nine of Cups saying your heart desire is being granted. So that's fabulous energy. And the nine is always about being satisfied, happy, feeling very overjoyed and content. 
The seven of wands is over here in your career and finance telling you to stick to your guns, stand your ground, don't settle for less than you deserve, and don't be talked out of what your venture is. Everybody can't get it the way you do. It's not their dream. It hasn't been placed on their heart. That's why they don't get it. It's okay that they don't get it. You have to be the one that gets it, and that's all that matters. Here we go. The Hierophant, this is being told yes, being welcomed in, being given the, the ability to be part of something, whether it's a membership to a group or organization or an actual job. This is a large corporation, a major entity. It could be a university, a school, any government agency or entity as well. And the Two of Cups. So when the Two of Cups shows up over here in your career in finance, it's a little different than when it shows up in the in the love life in, in any other way. This is the energy of divine connection, soul union. It means you are in a place where you are in your soul's destiny. You are aligned with your physical purpose and your spiritual purpose. So whether it's a person in your life or it's you know, it could be a partnership in business, but it, it means your higher self is driving the bus. So that's always a good thing because you're going to have a different perspective going through your higher self than through ego. Now we have the strength card and the strength card is the Leo Major Arcana. This is the energy of Archangel Ariel, the Lion of God. This is the energy of being very much in a place of protection as you walk forward. Archangel Ariel, very loyal, will go through hell and back literally and save you from being absconded with while you're on your mission. You will be pointed in the direction of the goal and that lion will make sure he will do his level best to keep you in that direction, heading that way with nothing stopping you. So we have the Ace of Swords. This is clarity. This is focus. This is cutting through the veil. Anything that's been obscuring your vision as to how you're going to move forward is now being released. It is a gift from divine. All aces are gifts. This one has a laurel wreath around the top, which means a victory as well. So all good things. Here we go, Scorpio. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure white light, divine spirit. Spirit guides, gods and goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So we have our two cards here, the little page of pentacles, coming in with the energy of being able to put the money is literally coming in as an offer and in, in plenty because you have it here saying you're stable and then here's more coming in. This page is offering more. So we love that abundance. Now we have the lovers, which is the Gemini Major Arcana. It's also the energy of divine protection and being nurtured by, by divine. You have this beautiful little Archangel Raphael, and he's looking over the lovers. And it can be an energy of nurturing. It can also be an energy of new love and or being in that relationship with self in a way that your higher self is doing what it's supposed to be doing. It's very similar to the Two of Cups in the energy. Hierophant again. So the lightning strike is a call out of the blue about a job or about something to do with a project that you won't see coming. This is a call out of the blue. So that's wonderful. It's a good thing. You have it here and you have it here. Now we have the ma magician, the master manifester. Well, I can promise you can't manifest from here. So you've got to pull yourself out of that and get into the energy of focusing the outcome. Only the outcome. Don't worry about how or how many days or weeks it's going to take. I sorely underestimated mine when I was doing this and setting up my idea of how long it was going to take. It happened way faster because I listened to my guidance and, my, and, and all the things that were coming in to help me to do this. So the ex expectation of time is not the issue. Your energy can move it faster. Energetic focus will move things way faster than your physical body can. 
So that's where you want to be is in the energy, not in the physical, because in the physical, it becomes hard, right? If you want to move a mountain, you don't, you don't use a wheelbarrow. <laughs> you, you've got to use the, the faith of the universe. So queen of cups. So this is the, your queen energy. And now you got to be careful when this lightning strike happens. Don't get in the place of nostalgia and sorrow. This is happening to release you from something. Sometimes we're so caught up in the energy of being held in this position that we forget that, you know, we get Stockholm Syndrome and start to sympathize with the reason we're stuck in that. Uh, don't do that. Allow yourself to get out when it's time to get out. and Don't get stuck in what, all the reasons why this shouldn't have happened. Sometimes it's startling when it happens, but sometimes it has to be. Ace of Swords. It's telling you, you're going to get your clear focus. And it looks like this is a match for some of you with the person you're with and having that energy of whether or not you're going to continue to stay in this relationship or if you're going to move forward in a new direction because that's your clarity coming in here. As that tower comes down, if you're in a relationship with another person, it may be that that's part of the thing that's being changed. We have the Four of Swords here, which is the energy of being very much in the healing process. We have to recover ourselves and allow ourselves to be in a place of fully um, taking care of our spiritual energy as well as our physical body. And as you all know, most people ignore themselves and do everything for everyone else. And when it comes time for them, there's nothing left to give. So please be sure that you include yourself and allow yourself to be celebrated for the beautiful person that you are. Because if you don't do it, no one else will. We have the Knight of Cups. So that's an offer coming in with that Seven of Rods. Don't settle for less than you deserve. And it feels like forever until you hear the news. You know, this is where it's all coming together for you. They are contacting you, but it's, you're gonna, you may give up before you actually hear from them. Don't give up on it. Just stay focused on the end result. No news is good news. This just means it's taking its own sweet time, but it has to. The universe is doing work in the background. We have the Eight of Rods, which is the energy of very fast moving. All of a sudden, once it does break through, it, all, the, all the wheels are in motion. This is the Eight of Rods, very charged energy, very fast moving, and it will bring all kinds of new opportunities to you in this Two of Cups energy. It's very beautiful. I love that that's there. And our underlier here, don't get in your head. The whole thing is, once it starts to shake and move, <laughs> shake, rattle, and roll, fear will kick in. It always does. We can't stop it from trying to come in because it's a habit. When things change, we get scared. Even when it's everything you ask for, you're afraid maybe it's too good to be true, right? Don't get in that mindset because then you're just canceling out everything you work to try to build. This is normal. You just have to realize, hey, this is normal. I'm the, here's the fear, so I know I'm in it. That's the real thing, right? They say pain is the thing that makes you know you're alive. <laughs> If you if you weren't alive, you wouldn't feel pain. Well, this is the energy of fear. You know you're making a breakthrough when the fear sets in because you know you're stepping out of your comfort zone. And yes, it is not fun. It is not fun at all. But you have to do it to grow. If you want to expand or do something big in your life, you're always going to have to overcome the fear. Believe me, done it several times. And every time it's just as hard. It's not like I can go, oh, well, I've already felt this fear. No, it was a different thing. So each time it's got its new way, a new, a nuance or some kind of new thing that just terrifies you and, and you start to get in your head too much. Just remember, that's only a marker that you're succeeding at what you're doing. So my darlings, I will see you in the middle of the month. Namaste. Have a great first half of December.